Bruce Banner's mildly temperamental alter ego finally gets some wide open areas to crush everything in his path in The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. The graphics aren't that impressive and the story isn't that engaging, but the gameplay offers a sizable amount of free roaming two-fisted demolition. Ultimate Destruction is a game in a long line of free-roaming action adventures. But unlike its predecessors, like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, this Incredible Hulk game lets you completely decimate each environment with your bare hands. Pretty much everything around you can be destroyed, or used to destroy something else. As you progress through the story missions and are introduced to new anti-Hulk technology, the threat and difficulty level increases each time you get in trouble. And with every piece of property you damage, objective you complete, and mission you pass, you gain smash points. You can use these to purchase over 60 different moves the Hulk can pull off, depending on whether he's running, jumping, gripping a wall, holding a car, you name it. There's an unbelievable amount of special attacks, and every punch, kick, and jump Hulk performs can be charged up by holding down the attack button used for that attack, even if it's right in the middle of a combo. And just like Spider-Man 2, there's lots of mini-games scattered throughout the environments that make you travel across a large distance in a short amount of time, or see how far you can home run an armed soldier, or save people from a burning building, for example. These help keep the objectives coming when you've beaten the story mode and maxed out your powers. Unlike the previous game based on the 2003 Ang Lee film, also developed by Radical Entertainment, Ultimate Destruction takes its story and characters straight from the comics. This brings in more recognizable faces like Doc Samson, The Abomination, Mercy, the Hulkbuster robots, and plenty of other surprises that should keep Hulk fans happy. The story follows Emil Blonsky, aka The Abomination, and his evil government group, The Division, as they try and stop the efforts of Bruce Banner and Doc Samson, who are working to recreate the experiment that gave birth to the Hulk, and figure out a way to end Bruce's transformations. The plot is interesting, but starts as little more than a reason for the Hulk to freak out. It's always amusing watching people try and solve the Hulk problem by making him angrier. The character models and textures are not stellar, but for a game like this, they don't need to be. You won't notice the quality of the buildings or cars when you're soaring hundreds of feet above them or throwing them at each other. There are also multiple ways to interact with each destructible object. You can either throw a tree or street lamp or swing it like a baseball bat. You can chuck a taxi or police car at a helicopter or rip it in half and use the broken pieces as metal gloves. The frame rate does suffer occasionally, but when it does, it's almost nice to slow things down when that much stuff is going on. You also definitely get a sense of emergency as you see people fleeing and cars swerving at the sight of you, or hear the screams of panicked pedestrians. There are two main areas you can explore, the city and the desert. There are also boss arenas, where you can face off one-on-one -on -one against some of Hulk's greatest enemies. The two main areas are big enough to give you a sense of freedom, but not detailed enough for you to know where you are just by looking around. Although it's basically Grand Theft Hulk, Ultimate Destruction has challenging missions that create an epic action adventure. It could have had a better story, more hidden characters, and areas to explore, but the control, the physics, the camera, and the explosive objects make this incredible Hulk game stand much taller than the large group of disappointing comic titles.